In this hospital, the 30-year-old wife of a shopkeeper at Stamford in Lincolnshire lay helpless from infantile paralysis. Hello? Hello, London. This is the Stamford Rockman and General Infirmary speaking. We have just admitted a case of infantile paralysis. The patient's critically ill. Now look here, we've got to have an, an iron lung as soon as possible. The emergency bed service in London examined their charts. All their iron lungs were already in use. They phoned the manufacturers. We've just completed the iron lung purchased by Game on British News. They've taken delivery only an hour ago. Good morning. Good morning. Airport was given instructions immediately for the lung to be sent to the Stamford Infirmary. The camera unit that had been sent to the air office at Heston rushed the equipment onto the plane in deadly earnest now. Then the nearest landing ground to Stamford had to be found. Just a minute. That's Whitbread. We shall have to get permission from the air ministry to land there. Although a door of the plane had to be removed, the machine took off only 20 minutes after the iron lung had arrived at Heston. Meanwhile, permission was being sought from the Air Ministry to enable our plane to land at the RAF aerodrome at Wittering. Permission was granted by the Air Ministry. Not only could the plane land there, but the Air Force personnel at Wittering had been instructed to give all assistance in getting the iron lung quickly to the hospital. Thus, a journey of a hundred miles by air and road with this special but awkward cargo was completed in 68 minutes. An iron lung provides the only chance of life in nearly all cases of infantile paralysis. Yet for over a thousand hospitals in this country, there are only 29 iron lungs available. This is our true life story. Within minutes of the iron lung being delivered to Goma British News, it was urgently needed. Every town in the United Kingdom should have at least one iron lung for the use of its hospitals vital equipment to fight this terrible affliction of infantile paralysis.